So the first step is to take this measurement tool here in Photoshop and to drag it along the length of the scale bar and I hold the shift key down to keep it straight and you can see that's a pretty good job. If I want to extend it or move, move it a little bit, I can just drag on the cursor here or the little plus sign. And so I have a line that is pretty, pretty accurately. It's a little slanted, so I might do it again. So we need to go back, hold the straight, hold the shift key so that it stays straight. All right, so now that I have a measurement on the scale bar, I go to image and then analysis and I say record measurements. And so it tells me that the length of that um, bar is 231 something. It, that, what that something is, is pixels. So that length of 100 micron bar is 231 pixels. So that's the relationship now that we need for Photoshop to understand is that in, in an image of this, uh, that was taken with this certain objective settings, um, the 231 pixels is equivalent to 100 microns. And so what you do is you can go to image analysis, set measurement scale and custom. And so what I'm going to say is that um, 231 pixel length is equal to 100, what? Microns, and it could be anything. Uh, Photoshop doesn't really care, you, you determine that. So you just have to remember that when you represent uh, your scale or you do your measurements that the unit was uh, microns. You can save preset. And so we'll set this as, I, I like to do something informative, but we'll do let's say 100 micron and 20 X objective. Okay. And so now you have that scale set. Is everybody else okay? And so that's what, that's what Photoshop will use for now on. So if we were to go back and measure again, so I can just press record measurement. Now you see that the length is actually 100 um, because, it, because it's using that new relationship and you can even see that here in the scale factor. So now that you've set your 100 micron um, scale, you could use that to measure other things. So we go record measurements and that will tell you the size of that cell. So you can see how useful this will be uh, later on. Now, also, if you wanna make scale bars that you put in uh, your images, and this one's pretty ugly and you can't move it, it's part of the image, you only need to do this once as long as you use the uh, same, uh, same settings on your microscope for future images. And so if you use different objectives, 10X, 20X, uh, 40X, you'll need to do this for each one of those objectives. But what I'll do is take a white line and drag it over the scale bar, and that will then be my 100. Now, if I want to uh, make others that are still in the same scale, but of uh, different lengths, I can give this an inform. Let's say I wanna make it uh, half the size, so 50 microns. What I can do is then transform this and I can use a percentage. So I can do the uh, width as 50%. And so that's gonna be half as large, and so that should be 50 microns. So if we go and measure that just to convince ourselves, so, okay. if we can wanna convince ourselves, I can go and measure this, record measurement, and there you go, it's very close, 50.9 or 51, you know, because I'm off a little bit on, on the edges here, but you can see that that's now a 50 micron one. And similarly, if I want to make it twice as large, I can do 200 micron. And then do a transform. And actually in this case, since I'm starting from 50, I would have to do it not by just 100%, uh, but actually 200%. 400%. There we go, 400%. And so just again, to convince ourselves, measure, Cord, and it's just about 200 on the head. So you can then take the uh, you can take these um, lines 
and put them in another file somewhere and then just use them again as long as you remember what they are. And that's why I like to give them informative names. So you can take these three layers, uh, put them into, you can, cop, you can uh, duplicate layers to a new document and uh, you can set the background black if you'd like, but you can save as, and then just somewhere on say in a new folder, you can say scale bars, and this will be my 20x scale bar Nikon set. And you can use these every time you want. You can put them into other images. So for example, if I have a nice image, the image that I want to put a scale bar into, I can then just uh, copy, say the 100 micron one, copy that, and go put it in my nice image. Oh, wrong thing. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, so that's how you do uh, scale bar setting in Photoshop.